Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey what's up? My name is Caitlin, and today we're going to be doing one of my favorite videos to film, and that is my Ipsy unbagging. This is Ipsy month June, which is crazy to me. I know I've been saying that literally every month I've been filming this this year, but this year is just going by so freaking fast. So yeah, if you didn't know, Ipsy is a subscription service that you get every month it delivered to your door. I'm talking really weird. Um, it is $10 a month and you get four to five sample, deluxe sample, every now and then you get full size products. And this is what the bag looks like this month. You can get yellow, red, or blue, which I really wanted the blue one, I'm not gonna lie. But everyone that I've seen, I've been watching some Ipsy unbaggings on YouTube, and everyone I've seen has either gotten yellow or red. So I don't know if like no one's getting blue or what. So if you got blue, let me know down below because you're awesome. But yeah, this is what mine looks like this month. We're going to go ahead and dive right in. And of course, I do already know what's in here because I do these on like try-on style. So if that bothers you, I'm sorry. But I like to try them on and let you know. So the theme this month is flying colors. I'm obviously assuming it's free quality. It looks like this. It's really cute. I don't know who these people are. That's Gabriel. Um, yeah, Gabriel's the only one I know on here. The purple. So there's that. The first thing in here, I talked about that, I just hit my cat in the face, sorry Lucky. <laughs> um, this is the MAC Prep and Prime, can, or not concealer, what is this, Skin Based Visage, so it's basically a primer. I am not going to use this because I only use cruelty free products, if you didn't know that, now you do. And MAC is not cruelty free, they test their things on which animals, like this one right here, so not using that. And yeah. The next thing in here, and also it's kind of a ripoff anyway because you can get that for free on Mac's website. I know that because I used to use Mac products back when I wasn't cruelty free. Because if you read my bio, then you'll understand more. But I am very naive to the world, I guess, and I thought that it was like illegal to test on animals. But apparently, it is very much not illegal to test on animals, and Mac still does. So I got rid of all my Mac stuff and don't use them anymore. So. This is the Hey Honey Come Clean Pro Pro Propolis, I can never say that word, and Mineral Facial Scrub. Obviously, I can't use this right now because I have makeup on, but I will keep you updated if I like this. This is cruelty-free, and it is also SLS-free and paraben-free, and it's good for nine months. Wow, that's a short lifetime, but you can go through this in nine months easily. I'm trying not to sneeze right now. <laughs> um, but Hey Honey is an awesome brand. I really like them. They have a peel-off mask that I really like. Next in here is something I can try on right now. This is by, I think, it's cruelty free. 99% sure it's cruelty free. Let's see, there's a little thingy right here. Yeah, I know they're cruelty free. This is the Kavos or Kavos. Kavos, NYC.com is where you can go. Um, and it is the Macroon, or however you say that, I don't know, lip balm. It does have like a really faint smell. Did I even show you? Here's the packaging. And underneath it's like that. I'm 99% sure this is cruelty free, so if it's not, I'm sorry, but I'm pretty sure it is. It doesn't really have a smell. I don't know what it smells like. Very faint something. Okay. It's very light, kind of oily. This would be, Why, what is that smell? It reminds me of Vicks Vapor Rub, but like a very, very, very light Vicks Vapor Rub. Hmm. Weird. Okay. It's very oily, though. This would be something that I would wear at night. Like when going to bed. Hmm. It tastes bad. Okay. I don't like the way that tastes, but it's cute. It's macaroon, so that's cool. Next is a lipstick. And this is called Finding Ferdinand. And it is the mini lipstick in the shade Oh Naturel. So it's really cute, so tiny. We're gonna try this guy on if I can open him. Oh, there's plastic, I'm stupid. <laughs> so Fighting Ferdinand is also cruelty free and really cute. Makes me want to go see the movie uh, Ferdinand the Bull. John Cena plays Ferdinand and I want to see it. It looks like this. It does have the little logo in there. I don't know if you can see it. It kind of reminds me of the Jeffree Star logo a little bit. Okay, I need a mirror. Is that 
roll up. There we go. Can't get it to roll, but now I can. Okay, so it's very, very faint. Like, not a lot there at all. That's pretty. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm not, like, super excited about it, but it's pretty. It's not, like, the most pigmented thing in the world, but it's really cute, and it's good for, like, a natural day or if you're a natural makeup lover, too. Last thing in my box, or my bag, which kind of sad this is the last thing already, but it is the Kaleido Cosmetic Skin Blush. They are cruelty-free. It says so on here somewhere. Certified vegan and gluten-free right there, and then cruelty-free no matter what. That's adorable. So it looks like Blush Blend Booyah. That's cute. That's what it says on the back. It looks like this in the packaging. I really like the packaging. It's simple and, like, sleek. It doesn't have a name on it, though. I wonder if they only have one shade. I don't know. I'll have to look into that. But it looks like this. It does have a little mirror, which is super cute. It's shimmery. I don't really wear shimmery blushes. Not because I don't like them, just because I don't have any. So, excited to try one. Let's go ahead and dip into this with the Aesthetica P12 blush, blush brush. Oh, this is actually really nice. Little mirror. Ooh. Okay. It does have, like, a nice amount of shimmer in it. Like, I do have highlight on, obviously, but you can still tell the difference in the shimmer. Hmm. That's really pretty. Okay, this is a win. I like this. <laughs> um, okay, overall, win. I like this. I like this a lot, actually. So that's really cute. Um, this little guy, I'm okay with it. One thing that's kind of sad, though, is I just used that once, obviously, and, like, the little logo is pretty much gone, which, that's whatever. But it's really cute. It's really easy to just, like, throw in your purse, do a quick little touch-up. So, I like it. I don't love it, but I like it. And then this guy, I am excited to try. I obviously have not tried it yet, so I don't know how I feel about it. But I do know I really like the brand Hey Honey, so I'm sure I will love this as well. My Macroon little guy. Um... It's okay. Like, I'm not super excited about it, but it's cute. It'll be cute to set out, and I will use it, obviously. Don't think I'm ever going to get through it, because it's huge, but... And then, obviously, this is a dud to me, so... Whatever on that one. <laughs> I'm being really salty towards cruelty-free status right now, but... Sorry, not sorry, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Um, don't hate me in the comments. I know people are like whatever about it but yeah I also really like the bag I think it's fun it's cute so for ten dollars I'm happy with what I got and yeah you guys have to let me know down below what color bag you got and what products you got in your monthly subscription this year this month why am I talking so weird I'm like in a rush because I have to leave soon so I'm just like okay anyway that's all I have for you guys don't forget to like this video down below subscribe if you haven't done so already and if you are subscribed then turn on the notification bell so you're actually notified when I upload so you don't miss out on my videos and yeah that's everything bye guys